How long is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is an upcoming action role-playing game developed and published by Square Enix, scheduled to release for PlayStation 5 on February 29, 2024. It is a sequel to Final Fantasy VII Remake 2020 and the second in a planned trilogy of games remaking the 1997 PlayStation game Final Fantasy VII. According to the developers of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the main story of this outing of Cloud and Friends should take an average of 40 hours for most players to complete. That's a substantial amount of content for those just looking for a streamlined, story-focused experience and doesn't account for the bevy of side quests, collectibles, and mini-games the game has to offer. As with its predecessor, the gameplay will combine real-time action with strategic and role-playing elements. Set immediately after Remake's events, players will control the mercenary Cloud Strife and a party of characters principally comprising the eco-terrorist group Avalanche, who band together and embark on a journey across the planet to prevent the megacorporation Shinra from exploiting its life essence, the life stream, as an energy source, and defeat former elite soldier Sephiroth, who intends on uniting with the planet to achieve greater power. The game entered production in November 2019 prior to Remake's release, and was announced in June 2022. All of the lead staff returned from the previous game in the same positions, but with Tetsuya Nomura returning as creative director instead of director, and Naoki Hamaguchi returning as director instead of co-director. Those looking to complete the entirety of what comes packed in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth may be shocked to hear that the developers have also promised nearly 100 hours worth of total content.